Okay, so I have been going through and renovating my wild strawberries because it's you know late summer. We just had a couple nice days, so I thought I'd take some time to sit down and just work on them. I've got all this stuff that I've been ripping out, chopping out. I took out a whole plant. I don't know if it's going to come back or not, but I've already replaced it with you know same variety, just from one of these runners. You know, plenty of them have roots on them, kind of like what I've been doing over there. Now, these ones are you know really well developed and I'm not trying to multiply these specific ones but I just want to replace them to keep in my collection so this guy here we're gonna be replacing it with this one here which you guys have probably seen already so this guy created one runner oh, let's see that's actually interesting so it made one runner and I rooted it that's what this guy here is and I'm replacing it so it's you know nice fresh rejuvenated no more drama from the past that I've had with this with this particular plant. It's been you know, two years now that I've been having issues, so I'm finally really happy to be starting from scratch with it, essentially. But it looks like, so what happens with these runners, just side tangent, what happens with these runners is that usually what'll happen is it'll make a node with a plant on it, but usually halfway through there'll be another one. So it'll have two different nodes, one that will have a, a, a plant on it, one that won't. Sometimes the ones that won't, what they'll do is they'll split and produce two runners. This one is actually really interesting. It's been a while since I cut this other one off. It looks like it's just made a new plant there because the other one was cut off. I've never seen that before. I thought that was interesting. But here I'm going to renovate this one. So the, the reason that I don't have very many of this plant, it's mostly kind of just for decoration for the collection, is because it doesn't produce any fruit. This guy will go for a long time without any fruit, and it's because these these flowers are barren. They're they're male flowers. They they look perfect. They look like they should produce fruit, but they don't. The the, the core just does not accept. I, I there's something wrong with it. It doesn't accept the pollen or or something like that. You can cross pollinate them. It doesn't do anything. But mid to late summer, I do get a couple. And it could be a survival strategy of some kind that, that it has. I've heard that sometimes plants will produce different flowers under certain stresses. So I've got this one here. And I've got a couple over here, it looks like. It's, it's a, this is a whole group. So this, the, what happens is this is called an inflorescence. So it's one stem with a bunch of different flowers on it. And so this is the first time that I've seen this plant produce more than like two in a year and it's usually like I said in the fall that it finally does this I'm willing to bet that ooh, here's another one I'm willing to bet that it's the stress of the summer heat that maybe causes this because it happens like once and then it doesn't really happen again until next year same situation you know mid to late summer maybe early fall and then you get a couple so I just noticed that so that's this is the first time I've had multiple come off of one stalk, one inflorescence. They look pretty good too. I'm gonna taste some of these here in a minute. But yeah, so I'm I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be chopping this whole thing out. With the other ones, I've I kind of thinned them, spread them out. If they were in good, if the crowns looked like they were in good condition, I kept a couple. If not, like with this one here, I just chopped the whole thing out. It's really overcrowded. And I've replaced it with some new ones with with roots. This one I'm just going to do a full place out, so I'm going to rip this out as much as I can, slide this one in, spread out the dirt, make sure it's in there all the way. But this is what will happen with your wild strawberries when they get old. The, the crowns don't really spread out and kind of branch like modern strawberries. What they'll do is they'll clump, and what will happen is, is that you know the center is where the original plant will be. It'll get so overcrowded that they just sort of die, like there's actually a, a pretty decent pocket here in the middle. And what will happen is you'll have these small ones here that pop up. They'll try to fill the gaps, fill the voids here. And I wonder if you can actually see there's a little bit of green down in there too. And since they'll already be in these hyper crowded spaces, what will happen is that you'll have tons and tons of little crowns that, that are, they start out weak and they just end up dying because they don't have any room or, or space to grow. And that's what happened to this one last time that I saved it from, was that I had a massive clump, probably about four times the width of this one. And it stopped producing runners, like this one, you know, this is the first one I've had in two years. And pretty much just died. I saved it from, from ripping out one of these tiny ones and, and nursing it to health, and finally got this guy. 
which has brought me this, and I'm finally moving forward with with getting a nice new healthy plant going. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Like sometimes I do get a little bit of fruit off of it, but I usually don't, which is why I'm really pushing to get those other plants producing. I need to actually go check on those, see how the, the I got one f one plant out of those hybrids that are growing fruit or flowers that are turning into fruit. I need to go check on them. And I'm hoping next next spring I'll get a, a whole group that I can kind of taste and select out which one I want to spread out and then I'll spread it out like these ones here so I've got dozens of them because I want to be able to grow enough to have like a good handful as a snack or even freeze them save them up and make like jams and stuff out of them 